we're driving Tidal Falls together. Um, and this is the life of a temp worker trying to make it by. So uh, this morning, uh, my temp agency called me and confirmed that I'd be at my shift tonight. They do that every shift, and that's just the normal, you know. So no big deal. I told them I'd be there, and that was it. And then about a half hour later, maybe, I get another call, and they say, Oh, Idaho and shut down the line you work on, so we won't need you tonight. So we said, alright, so I chatted with Beth some more, and then we decided to go to the post office. And so by this time, it's like 11.30, and I haven't slept a wink yet. And uh, we get another phone call. And they're like, can you work a swing shift tonight? And we're like, well, we need the money, so I'm going to have to say yes, if I can. And so I looked at Beth and we didn't have anything planned so I said yes and she took me home and I got to a two hour nap and now I'm headed for another eight eight and a half hours of work but I'm getting paid and yeah there's so. no chance they're gonna fall asleep at the wheel because I'm driving oh yeah so Beth decided to come with me because swings is all before her normal bedtime anyway I'll get off at midnight, and so she's gonna go hang out with some friends and do some shopping. Shopping in Idaho Falls, and hey mom, if you watch this video, um, do you want to buy me some stuff at Kohl's? <laughs> so anyway, that's what's uh, going on with my day. I was gonna wake up in time to work out, and my alarm went off, and instead of snoozing, I shut it off like I stupidly do sometimes. And then I woke up about 10 minutes too late, past the latest time I could have started working out. So, instead of working out, I got some extra sleep and got a more relaxed time getting ready. I uh, got to eat some cold cereal to hold me over till my supper that I have packed in my lunch bag. And, yeah, so... Uh, I guess I'm going to be learning a new skill today because they said my line's shut down, so I guess I'm learning a new position. But, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll update you again. Maybe I'll just upload this when I get done with work. Who knows? But, uh, thanks for watching. So when I got to Idaho and they said they were overstaffed and they sent me home. So I called IES and they said I might qualify for, um, they call them showtime hours, um, which is, I guess, when you get paid just for showing up. One of those things they do to protect their workers. But just in the time of this, this storm has rolled in, like it's gotten so dark, the sun's over there, but it's behind a bunch of clouds. And uh, the temperature's dropped a few degrees, and I'm thinking it's a matter of minutes until it just pours. It looks like it's already raining over that direction, so. Um, that is into the microphone, and I mean, I'm right by the door, so if it does start pouring, we'll just head in. But Beth's um, on her way when she gets done shopping, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, maybe we're heading to Rexburg, or maybe we're heading home. But uh, either way, um, hopefully, I can get some work over the next day or two. Um, but if not, I'll catch up on my sleep and uh, we'll do some scripture studying and stuff. So I decided to just film the update video I've been meaning to film. I hope the wind's not too bad on my microphone. If it is, maybe I'll have to, uh, um, anyway, refilm this, but, um, or if people come out and interrupt it. But, uh, I was trying to think back when I did my last update. I think it was before my wedding. Um, the wedding went awesome, and uh, everyone, um, everyone had a good time. Uh, I posted some videos. You saw that beautiful room that my dad and her dad and when he, oh, we had a lot of volunteers, but we spent uh, over eight hours on decoration, and then had a awesome wedding ceremony at the Idol Falls Temple. The last day it was open. Um, and we have Brother Cannon do our ceiling, which is pretty cool because um, Brother Cannon was my first uh, home teaching partner after my dad, of course. 
and then uh, he was my brother's mission companion. Um, then he was called into the temple presidency. He performed my sister's sealing, and then he performed my sealing. So he's a pretty important part of our family, and um, and also uh, it was cool because I was sealed on the last day that the Idaho Falls Temple was open before their remodel, and my grandma had been sealed. Um, what am I? She figured out like 70 years. Be, uh, previous um almost this that'll be this uh september is her uh, 70th anniversary of course my grandpa's gone now but uh anyway it was the first day that the uh temple was open for ceilings and that was in uh, 1945 and so that's pretty cool our our family has kind of the bookends until it reopens um and then for our honeymoon we just road tripped back to Ohio and then uh, came back, uh, road trip back. Really the road trip back was more of the honeymoon because on the way out to Ohio um, her parents drove with us. Uh, so that was nice so we could sleep and stuff but of course sharing hotel rooms doesn't really feel like a honeymoon. So um, on the way back we stopped at the Chicago Temple and stuff and so that was fun. Um, and we stopped in for our summer uh, I did say that right, Oklahoma? I think it's Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Nebraska, somewhere in the center of the country, I don't know. Anyway, um, and after the honeymoon I started job searching and Still haven't found anything permanent, but I uh, registered with the temp service and got this uh, Idahoan gig that's semi-permanent. And uh, yeah, so um, now I'm working at Idahoan. Um, trying to think if there's anything else really to update you on. I don't know my. Uh, Everything's going well in our marriage and love my wife. She's super awesome. This morning I came home and she had made me breakfast and someday she's not even out of bed when I get home. So I definitely wasn't expecting that. So it was a great surprise. And um, yeah, I don't th can't think of anything else that I need to update you on. If I think of more, I'll uh, of course uh, make another update. Thanks for watching.